The battle over abortion rights in the U.S. is back in the hands of the country's top court. On Wednesday, the conservative-dominated bench was expected to decide the fate of the abortion pill Mifepristone, which is used in more than half of abortions in the U.S., while a lawsuit over the drug plays out. But now the deadline for the justices to act has been pushed until just before midnight on Friday. We don't want a Supreme Court justice in our bedrooms telling us what to do. Pro-choice lawmakers holding a rally Wednesday while they wait to learn the Supreme Court's decision on whether to let the lower court rulings stand that would restrict access to Mifepristone. Congressional Democrats are urging the court to protect access to the medication. This is about the Republicans' ongoing quest to criminalize abortion care. And the politicians, mostly men, who are trying to drag us back to the 1950s had better be ready. Earlier this month, a federal judge in Texas ruled that the Food and Drug Administration should not have approved the pill more than two decades ago. But then Justice Samuel Alito put a temporary hold on that decision to give the court more time to review the case. The FDA, though, says the drug is safe and was properly okayed. The stakes could not be higher. The White House repeating its stance on the matter Wednesday, saying the Biden administration will continue to fight for abortion rights. We will continue to stand with FDA's evidence-based approval of mifeprestone. As we know, that's been around for more than 20 years. It's, it's, uh, it is used in more than 60 countries. And we'll continue to support FDA's independent uh, expert authority to review, approve, and regulate a wide range of prescription drugs. This latest chapter comes less than a year after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned the constitutional right to abortion, paving the way for more than a dozen states to effectively ban abortion. All right, so what does all this mean for now anyway, south of the border? Well, access to that abortion drug, it's been extended temporarily until the end of the week. The U.S. Supreme Court basically just giving itself about two more days to decide what it's going to do. Melissa Duggan, City News.